Today I'm working on a Sony LCD TV. The model number is KDL-40 Bravo X-Ray 420. Well, this TV came in here partly dead. I didn't get any kind of display, but the volume worked. And when you held a, hold a flashlight to the LCD display, you could see the picture coming through when you push the menu button. So, upon first examining things, I decided to check the power going to the inverter board and I, I noticed little notations here on the board saying what they were supposed to be and so I just wrote them all down here, wrote down what they're supposed to be versus what they are and this is the uh, should be on this side here and this is what they turned out to be now right away you can see something a little suspicious here the 24 volt line was up to 25.7 and that suggests that there is no voltage drop that you'd expect to see from the inverter board so for some reason the inverter board didn't seem to be coming on and I checked my BL on signal coming from the main board. It was about 2.9 volts. Now what was sort of curious about this was the fuse checked out okay, but the uh, inverter, inverter still wasn't putting out any power. So upon looking this over very carefully, I noticed it had some jumpers that were arcing. Let's see if I can find it for you. Well, I'll just show you the back side of this thing. I don't know why they did it this way, but on the back side of this uh, inverter board, they put these little jumpers. And as I was looking it over very carefully, almost missed it. It's kind of hard to spot. I noticed one of the jumpers had like a cracked uh, crack around it. You can see where it had been arcing. So I'm going to go ahead and resolder that and see what happens. Now before I resolder connections like this, I always like to scrape some of the copper or the uh, paint off the copper traces on the circuit board so more solder will adhere because this is obviously a weak point on this board and I bet if I didn't do this it might likely occur again.